Hello guys and welcome back to Valheim. In this video we will find the trader. I'll show you how I did it and well you can call it cheating if you want to but I've been around looking for him uh, searching through the black forest in a few places and have not been successful in finding him. So what I did is that I looked online and I found this really neat uh, world generator. Or, yeah, I guess that's what it's called. Uh, pretty similar to what we have used in Minecraft before. And uh, it looks like this. So this is a seed I've been using for my world. And now I enabled the trader you can see that this is a spawn and the big lake and and these uh, rivers or paths going out and it's the same world as I have so I think this is trustworthy uh, we can see a lot of these uh, biomes that we have around us I have found most of them I have base in the in the plains and in swamp so it, not much here is revealed but zooming out I can see that we have a trader down here and a trader up here now you can probably zoom out a bit more but I'm not really looking at that I just want to find the trader so it means that I simply need to sail down and go over here and I should find him so down on this side I guess down and it should be around here so that's what i will do i'll gather some food and i will bring my portal stuff oh, i have this wrong wrong type of wood with me and i'll meet you when i get closer okay so i think we have arrived after well it's not extremely long but quite a bit of sailing from here to here and according to the map in here is where the trader shall be so let me get to uh, get ashore and in a safe way okay this is fine now it's cleared up so just let's head well it seems to be working quite fine. I can see that the trader symbol directly shows up here on the minimap. You don't have to be extremely close to him, you just need to be in the proximity. So straight this way and the first thing we'll do when we get a bit closer is to build uh, the portal so we can go here more easily and after that we'll do some trading and this trader will not move oh. uh, the the trader can spawn in different places doesn't have to be here there can be other places on as you could see on the map but once you have found him and established contact apparently the other locations will be blank there can be only one trader in your world as i understand so i probably need to clear out a few of these uh, annoying gray dwarves not because they're dangerous but because they will be in the way and might uh, attack me and my and my uh, portal Here's the trader post. Do we have a rune? Yeah. Let's check the rune here. We can't check the rune. Instead, let's go and talk to him. Well, hello there. Hello, Haldor. Christmas hat, circlet, fishing rod I really want the belt and the circlet 
So um, I wonder how close we should build the portal. I'll probably build it very close. And now we have our portal up and <laughs> oops. And it's important that you remember what you call your portals. Vendor was correct, trader was not correct. So I'll go back and I fetch some stuff that we can trade with. So things that you want to bring here, there are rubies, uh, amber, pearls. I'm not sure if there is something else you can use them for. Bring your money. I'll just bring everything for now. And then we'll see. That was a bit too much. Might be a good idea to build yourself a, uh, a chest. So you know you can dump some stuff in here so you don't if in case you don't want to sell everything at once. I forgot the amber. Uh, but that's fine. I think we have enough to start with. Well, hello there. Let's begin with selling. And you can't really select what to sell. So I have 20 and I have 15. And if we place them in this order, I sold all the rubies. And now I'll probably sell all the pearls. And that gave me money. So you can't really select. If you don't want to sell everything, then have a chest. I want this Dverger circlet. I was in I want this Meginjord and probably everything I can buy here. Circlet, belt, I want a fishing rod. And we need to sell more stuff. I want that final part as well. So we have those and We can save a few rubies in case we need it for something else. But he seems very happy. So sell and emir flesh and some fishing bait. Okay, I think we have enough to start with. Uh, the Ymir flesh, uh, we'll see how much of that we need. I actually don't know at this time. But uh, cute place. I like what he has done with it. Very nice. So, what did we buy now? Well, that's the important part. This belt. Once equipped you will get 450 instead of 300 carrying uh, uh, carry weight maximum. I don't know what to call it but I guess you know what I mean. We can carry a lot more especially with dragon eggs that weigh like 200 and or even more perhaps 200 even perhaps this will be very handy and also this part the circlet will be worn instead of the helmet and you get headlight very useful especially when uh, when trying to explore dungeons uh, uh, the, in the swamps, uh, they are very dark and uh, I'll probably have use for it. So the Emir Flesh seems to be used for uh, Iron Sledge, a large two-handed weapon, uh, blunt damage. Perhaps it's used for something else as well, now or later, but 
I'm not going to build anything. I'm happy to have found the trader that we have the increased carrying weight and well, we have the circlet in case we need it while exploring. Also, I need to learn fishing and I think that's a, this would be a perfect place to practice that. But that's for another video or not in a video at all. Anyway, I think uh, finding the trader was simple enough with this tool, perhaps too easy. In any case, I hope it was helpful to you. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.